Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for another video of Age of uh, History 2. We're going to continue this series, boys. Now, we're moving on to a different sector of the world. We went from America uh, at first, right? The Americas. Then we went back into the uh, actual European landscape. And we went with the Picts. We did all of this together with them. And, and uh, afterwards, we just finished with the Asian territory, the Chiang Empire, and we just made sure that they declared war on somebody. So they declared war on the Changju. Uh, they're actually at war with them uh, currently. And uh, about that, now we gotta go into African lands. Now the, the big parts, we're gonna have a lot to do. I'm gonna go with the Morse, uh, just because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun time over there in the West. Uh, we're gonna just colonize all of Africa. I might not worry about Gascony at all. I'm not sure uh, if I need to worry about it. It is what it is. I'm gonna put a aggressiveness at almost like 300%. We do have some modern territories or modern countries kind of starting to form up a little bit. I mean, we still have the Swedes, the Sweden, uh, Swedish and stuff, right? But we do have the Prussians. The Prussians did start to appear uh, out of thin air. So we do have the Prussians appearing right here, boys. Uh, they're actually there before the French, so that's quite interesting. Prussians uh, are a thing before the French, boys. But let's move in. We are about to start it up right here. I think I've got everything good. Everything's on the, the good side, so we can start doing our thing, boys. Same uh, deal as the usual thing, uh, really. We're just going to keep uh, uh, doing the same, goal, uh, same old good thing, except we have a different place. Uh, we're in a different place now. So uh, we are actually... Good to do library sports and everything on every single place boys like we usually do we're gonna get a bunch of soldiers on these uh places as well we got the ports supply camps and libraries and uh that's really good we got a lot of soldiers available right off the bat they're giving us uh so that's uh fantastic we're gonna be able to do quite a lot with that let's do the farm sports and everything I'm going to quickly build up my, um, I guess, all of my cities or all my regions. Just as much as I can, at least. Just so we can do uh, quite a lot. Man, 4K? 4K divisions, boys. Just like that. Good God, that is quite a lot. That's a, that's a lot of armies right there. I don't know how we got... We're getting all of this, but we're definitely getting a lot from the bat. So... Alright, I just got interrupted. My mind dog was doing all sorts of crazy shit. I don't know what he's doing in behind me, boys. Current, uh, currently uh, recording uh, back to back. So that's the same time as the uh, last time that my dog was literally punching my door to get uh, for me to open it and stuff like that. So I open it for him because I'm alone apparently with him uh, right now. Looks like uh, everybody else in the, in the house went away uh, for now without telling me. So... I'm alone with him, but right now he's like, oh my god, and now he wants to go outside, boys. This is what I gotta deal with right here. Trying to record a video and my dog's all over the place. Alright, I, f I just finished working on all the little regions, all my regions. Uh, are we at war with anybody? I don't think we are. No, we're not at war with anybody, so we don't need to worry about that. These are all uh, original Roman uh, Empire territories right here that uh, eventually we'll need to worry about. So we're going to take this right here, and we are bordering them, so we're just going to take some uh, armies, I guess. Wait, am I not recruiting? There we go. I need to recruit these guys. So I'm doing this right here. We are going to... I don't need to assimilate them or anything. Just going to need to take that. We've got plenty of points to spend. Uh, what I'm going to do with those points, I'm just going to expand. I'm going to colonize for now, boys. I'm just going to start colonizing. I don't want to have to, even though I have plenty of divisions right off the bat, I don't have them just yet. I don't want to go to war with the Gasc uh, with Gascony uh, just yet. I don't feel like I'm I'm that part just yet, right? I want to see how it goes, because right now I would much rather actually going after these guys first and these guys before going after Gascony. Gascony is going to become a, it's going to be a problem. I want to make sure that I'm a big and strong empire before going after someone like that so uh view my civilization we're good on the uh, on the budget we can uh definitely do a lot of stuff i'm actually gonna recruit a bunch of soldiers there we go 5k holy shit all right uh, are we do we have everything built up over here we kind of have everything built up 
Uh, we cannot move any further though, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah, because I don't have enough uh, of the high rope points or whatever, these uh, movement points. All right, now we can skip turn, boys. Skip our first turn. There we go. We're finally in turn two with all of that. Uh, we've got some instability uh, here and there. So let's work on that re uh, really quick. There we go. Uh, next part is going to be for us to... Oh, it still keeps at, uh, at 80, which is very good. We're going to keep colonizing. Keep colonizing everywhere. And we are going to send this guy over here so he can reinforce. And we are going to work on the libraries and supply camps. We are doing so good. And right now, I feel like we can actually colonize these little lands right here. So I'm actually going to send uh, half the divisions. Have my divisions right here uh, just to go there and explore, I guess, around the world so we can get all of that. We can actually invade territories because they actually got some troops, nomad troops and all, but I'm just going to buy it by myself. It's better uh, to buy it than actually try and attack them. I don't have uh, troops to spare to attack right now. All right. So what about the Gascony? What's our situation with them? We're like we're neutral on them so we still have a truce with them for another 17 turns so we got 17 turns to not worry about them and we can't declare war on anybody anyways uh, until then we are going to send an insult to these guys so uh next turn when, when we are at turn five we're going to be able to go after them but right now we just need to continue our efforts on uh getting all of these territories right here boys which i am going to do so let's get that land right here let's get the desert land right here boys we're gonna send that guy over here as a reinforcement and we are gonna do supply camps and libraries just like that um, next up do we want to continue to expand on that side i think i do i want to expand a little bit on that side as well so let's do that boys let's uh, continue to expand library supply camps uh you i'm just gonna disband that army really quick boys there we go, and uh, oh, actually no, I didn't need to disband that. I need it because it's actually bordering another nation. Uh, we got this part right here. We're gonna get some armies, as many divisions as we can, and get over here. We got plenty of points, boys, which means we can expand quite a lot over there. Uh, you can already see we got plenty of uh, divisions. We went from like 16 um, regions and stuff to now 24 or something like that. So. We're moving uh, quite fast. Um, uh, I'm going to go there now. I'm going to actually get uh, these things really quick. Get uh, this army over there. Yeah, this is a work in progress, boys. But it's mostly going to be like the Aztec uh, for this playthrough right here. It's definitely going to look a lot more like the Aztec Empire uh, for me. Where I'm going to basically just colonize everything I've got around me. And that's how I'm going to create my empire. Uh, the main difference is I've got a lot, a hell of a lot more uh, territory to in, uh, to get via colonization uh, than I had with the actual Aztec Empire. The Aztec Empire, I didn't have anything. I legit did not have anything uh, too, too much, not as much at least. I got plenty of territories, but over here, I mean, it's a whole continent uh, basically for me right here. So that's that's crazy. So we got this, these guys, these little guys right here. We're going to go ahead and colonize this land. We are going to get some troops over here. We're going to move you up right here so we can colonize uh, these lands. They originally, they belong to Portugal and stuff like that. Well, they're going to belong to me now, to the, to the actual nomad, uh, nomads that uh, live in the land, right? The actual guys that should be uh, have these territories. So we're going to keep expanding with our colonization system keep expanding right here uh we don't need any armies so uh get rid of that supply camps and libraries there we go we could get this right here that's going to break it all apart so i'm just going to actually well i can't do anything else so let's go to the next turn really quick yeah we keep it at 80 percent. that's really good from the game right here uh, we're going to do income pro uh, production at 15 percent it looks like the game really likes for every single civilization to get the income pr uh, production up. Looks like this is the main production they're doing every time. So let's actually uh, make sure that this is selected and stuff so that we don't need to worry about it. And now we are going to focus on, 
I, I really need to get these right here. So I need to get these little things. I'm going to colonize this one right here. There we go. Just get the supply camps, the libraries, boys. This is going to be a pretty slower uh, video right here. So it's going to be me mostly colonizing everything I've got around me. Uh, now we actually are in fi uh, turn 5 though. So I can send an ultimatum to these guys, which I'm going to do. I send an ultimatum right away. And take these territories, please. Uh, give it to me. We're going to colonize this place. Uh, there we go. And get the supply camps, libraries. And disband the army that I've got there because I don't need it. And uh, let's skip the turn, boys. Actually, I forgot to, to go there. But uh, alright, they did accept. These guys did accept my, uh, my thing. So libraries, we are going to simulate. There we go. And we're going to get some soldiers over there as well. I don't have anybody there anymore, so let's just send him over there, I guess. Good. Really good, boys. So, now that that is done, we can actually continue to colonize places. So, we're going to colonize this little land right here. Get the libraries, ports, farms, and everything. These are going to be, uh, become rich lands, these little um, islands and stuff like that, for sure. Uh, we can also colonize this. Well, not yet, anyways, but eventually we will be able to do that. Uh, how are we in terms of insults with this guy uh, i think i want to i definitely want to go after this guy next so let's send some uh insults over there yeah and then next turn i think we're going to be able to uh to go after him so uh we've got uh that done we've got an extra point once again let's put it on economy growth there we go we are going to go now and focus on our efforts to uh assimilate or annex this guy so let's do that one two three four five six Give me every single territories you've got, and uh, I won't invade you, alright? Sounds like a good deal to me, buddy. Let's go. There we go. They accepted, boys, just like that. See how easy it is. We're really moving fast now. And uh, with that, I don't think I have enough points to assimilate all of them in one go, though. I might not have enough. Or do I? Or actually, I think I do. Well, aside from this one, I need to assimilate this one. We're going to work on that eventually, but it seems like we're doing pretty decent. So far, we're doing pretty decent, boys. Libraries, supply camps, and everything. I'm going to need some troops over there. Uh, we're going to send we're gonna send this guy over here. And same for this guy. We need to reinforce as much as possible. Uh, we are going to need to work, really, on libraries and everything over there as well. Get all the little recruitments. Uh, same thing for here. Libraries, supply camps. Uh, all these little lands that we are gaining, boys, we need to focus on them big time and uh, make sure that we are protected well enough because there's plenty of people that are just waiting for us to make mistakes. So uh, we can't allow them to uh, take uh, uh, any chance on that, to take a chance on us making mistakes and stuff. So supply camps, I think I got everyone. I, I got every single territory is right there. So that's pretty much good. We're moving uh, quite fast right here. It's still 80% 80, 80 so turn 9 now. We got another point. Let's go for economy growth level 5. Still working on that. Good. Uh, assimilation. I think it was this one. Yeah, I need to work on it. So let's start assimilating. I think we're working on everybody now. Good. So now that that is done, we can actually... Start focusing on our real effort. I don't want to go to war with Gascony just yet. So I think I really want to focus a lot more on the colonization part of the whole thing. Since we don't need to actually go to war with anybody. We could literally just at this point um, get the entirety of Africa. And that would be our empire in and of itself, boys. That would be well enough of an empire. So we could literally just do that. Um, for this guy, I need to... I could always send him uh, somewhere. Do I want to send him towards the Americas and start colonizing the Americas as well? I could, but I think the best part for me would be to just get every single island that's on Africa, uh, African lands. So I think that's the best part for me. We also have Gascony right here. Which Gascony, we are not that friendly with them. We still have a truce with them though. I am going to send an insult over there uh, 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 towards them though. Just so the next time we are going to be able to go after them. So as soon as this is done. Uh, as soon as the truce is done between us and Gascony. We are 
gonna I, I think go after them for sure boys it's gonna happen uh, we have some lands right here we can take so we're gonna do it we're gonna take those lands farm sports all the good stuff right here I hate when I press the wrong things boys uh, let's continue to do our thing there we go supply camps and let's get some recruitments over here all right you are gonna continue to move towards other lands and take as many like lands as possible right here uh, and uh, for you I guess you're gonna just gonna continue col uh, to you're just gonna continue to colonize and get uh, these extra forces to reinforce at places that I need them to be at and uh, that's pretty much it now we're going to turn 11 already we have pretty much nothing um, this guy over here cannot colonize this region so let's send him over here we're gonna get um, this uh, little territory there's a bunch of mini islands that are waiting for us to be uh, colonized so let's colonize this main territories these main territories right here uh, libraries supply camps come on no 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 uh, and disband the army please there we go just like that and you same thing for you right here colonize this place you can be reinforcing somebody so you're gonna do just that and uh, we are gonna do a library and stuff all right good next turn again just keep working on the 80 percent good uh and now we are gonna work on income stack station we're gonna make sure it's at 15. all right we're doing so good boys uh, already how much are we how much do we have we already have about 45 territories boys uh trade request with muscat i'm gonna look into that uh in a minute we do have my uh, armies right there. So Georgetown, we're about to have that. We just colonized it. So Georgetown is going about to our, uh, be ours, boys. So it's definitely not going to be in English territory, uh, English um, hands, that's for sure. I don't have any other ones. Yes, I do. I have this one right here. This little Jamestown as well. There we go. Going to get these little lands originally becoming uh, belonging to uh, the English. So we're gonna get that and now we don't have any more of those i'm not gonna go towards Amer uh, america just yet so we are now in the next turn again uh we have the trade request from muscat I, I wonder what is this form a coalition against whoever that is i'm not sure who that is who are they at war with right now who do they want to be at war with I i'm not sure boys uh the alumni whatever i'm not yeah I'm gonna refuse that because I'm not sure what they were talking about right here. I'm not sure who is it they want me to be at war with. I'm not gonna embark on any wars with anybody. Uh, I don't have time for this. I've got plenty of colonization to do myself. So yeah, don't have time for this bullshit, boys. Uh, move this guy over here just so the next turn he's gonna be able to take care of these little islands. Um, you, how much, Gascony, how much do we have now? How much turns do we have for the truce? Six more turns for the truce to end. All right, um, let's... I think we should probably try and focus on there. But maybe not after all, because if I can't... if They, they can't go there. They, the AI doesn't colonize. So if the AI doesn't colonize, they can't go there and take me by surprise. I don't... It's less front for me. It's less spaces to focus on. But at the same time, I think I do want to take them out. So I think I'm going to start colonizing these lands as well just because i want to make sure to that i can get them as many places as uh, as one at once uh, as possible boys i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna do that i'm gonna colonize uh, all these little lands right here these areas and make sure to border them so they didn't cause uh, any more trouble and i can get them easily uh once I'm, uh, i get to that place so let's continue colonize as much as possible over here libraries supply camps over here we also i i need to actually uh get these islands right here so sao tame we're gonna get that for sure 500 divisions just for this one little island which is very good for me i guess uh supply camps and everything good and we got um this one right here this land that's about to be mine as well all right let's see we got some assimilating to do really Okay, so why, why, why now? I, I don't know where the assimilating needs to be done at, but it's kind of, it's kind of strange, boys. I didn't expect that. All right, so ports, farms, libraries, and supply camps as usual. And now we're pretty much done with him. We still got some 
we're gonna we're gonna continue to actually you know what i'm pretty much done so i i'm gonna send him over there pretty much done for now for the little islands uh we are gonna focus on our efforts on reinforcing these lands i'm actually gonna get that right here there we go i'm gonna reinforce all of this boys so I can, eventually i can attack him from all sides that's basically my main role right here my main goal i really want to help out the uh, romans survive as much as possible if they can i mean they're doing a pretty good job over here looks like they're making a little bit of a comeback uh, there's some rebels attacking Audrigia. so Audrigia is having a, a civil war problem right now i guess and Alania as well is attacking them, I guess. There we go. So that's that's what's going on. Okay, so we're in the next turn. Uh, we have... I'm going to continue to uh, get that extra point towards the economy thing. Uh, we are going to actually reinforce that side right here. So let's reinforce it. Let's get uh, colonize this place. We're going to go here. And we're going to do the libraries and everything. Supply camps. And we are going to do the uh, next extra one, like, right here, I guess. Go over here to reinforce this. And get the supply camps and libraries, as always. Let's get to the next turn again, boys. Not a whole lot we can do right now, except from colonizing places. Uh, we've got even more places we need to assimilate, apparently. I guess it's uh, we're done. With, we're actually currently assimilating. And it's and when it finishes up, it's not completely done. Um, how many more turns do we have for Gascony, boys? We have two more turns for Gascony. Two more turns. All right. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and do get this guy over there. There we go. We're just gonna colonize this uh, land. Supply camps. We got more land. We one more land we can colonize. We're gonna get this one right here and reinforce this. This point of interest right here. Let's get the supply camps. All right, continue, man. Let's continue. We are doing so great right now. We've spent it quite a lot. As you can see, already we got all of this. The Morse is doing fantastic. Let me actually... So it's a bit prettier. It looks a bit uh, better. Let me just make sure that we get uh, that territory right there. And uh, we are going to disband that army. That's for sure. Now I am actually... Yeah, I'm going to reinforce even more by colonizing in this place we're colonizing quite a lot in the south uh, or in the the east i should say just uh, but that's because i want to actually be able to get as many reinforcements towards uh this part right here because i don't have a lot of divisions all my big time divisions they're all in the west they're not in the south boys so not sure like what i should do about this the, the, hopefully they don't have too many armies Defending Giza and everything because this is gonna be a problem if it's the case Alexandria as well, you know, hopefully they don't defend it too much uh, We are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna expand right here. I guess we're gonna continue to expand uh, Really quick boys. We've got the supply camps and everything and we are gonna disband that army. Uh, I do uh, I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get this uh, this land right here. This land is fantastic. We're gonna get it it's a big chunk of land right here and we're gonna get it for ourselves and that's about it so now we're entering the next turn and our truce has expired with gascony which means i'm pretty much ready to go to war against them i'm pretty much ready now the only reason why i want to go to war with them it's not really to gain territory by myself yes it is a part of it but it's mostly to help out the romans a little bit all right so uh, we're going to try and help them out as much as possible. So um, if we can just ask the Gascony, Gascony to give me territories of their own, you know, that could work out. Now, this does not belong to them, so I can only ask for this right here. So let's see really quick. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, buddy. So give me all of this and we're going to be good with each other. All right, just give me this. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fine. All right, give me this and you won't get invaded. And they accepted. Well, what do you know? We don't have to go to war with them after all, boys. They accepted the deal, uh, the offer, and now we gained all of these lands for ourselves. I'm gonna I'm just gonna disband these armies right here. They're they're middle of nowhere and no way to enforce anybody uh, with them. So let me just disband them. I am gonna go there with him though. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. So 
we are doing very good we got plenty of new troops and all so that's re that's really good boys that's really good we got a bunch of new lands bunch of new territories these are for uh, these are all lands that were formerly mine as well you know so it's even better for me uh, i can just build them properly and i'm just coming back home i'm back home basically uh, right now so that's all that's happening it's not uh it's not really the end of the world really i'm just retaking what was mine previously all right so i just finished getting all the conscript done so we got how many troops we're gonna have on that border no wonder they didn't want to attack us or face us boys i mean look at all the troops we've got uh trade requests for these guys form a coalition against gascony uh so who is these guys again these ones they want to go after gascony I'm sorry, but I don't need to go after them. And plus, I've got a truce with them. Now, for another 29 turns, we won't be able to deal with Gascony boys. So, um, they're pretty silly. All of this land that they've got right here, it's all from the Romans. So, the Romans have one last thing to deal with, I guess. Uh, I am not going to focus on them anymore. I think uh, now we can start really focusing on our colonization effort efforts. So, that's exactly what we're going to do, boys. We're just going to focus on that and not worry about anything else whatsoever. So let's just disband that army right here. And uh, we are going to just continue to uh, work on everything. Just continue to expand as much as possible. Let's get it at 15 for income taxation. Just like that. Uh, we are going to continue to expand right here in the desert. Uh, we don't have anything right here. Just supply camps, libraries as always. And we are going to disband that army here because I don't need it. Let's get you over here. Get that territory right here. I can actually send you over there as a reinforcement. So that's really good. Supply camps, libraries. And I think that's pretty much all I can do for this turn. There we go. Turn 23 already. So it's me. It's moving pretty fast. You're going to see that with ter regions. You're going to see that the countries like these that uh where i need to just all i can do is colonize around me it's gonna move really fast because i'm not doing anything uh crazy i'm not going to war so i don't need to war focus on too much like i don't need to um to micromanage as much that's uh what's going on really uh, because i don't need to ma uh, micromanage every five seconds uh, i don't need to worry about um uh, it's it doesn't slow me down or anything actually i can i keep going fast and stuff so uh, that's what's going on i'm gonna go uh same thing as usually i'm gonna go to research right here for uh, for now uh we're gonna keep colonizing in the main desert the sahara desert boys uh, usually there's nothing in there it's a bunch of it's desert so there's literally nothing it's just a bunch of uh dead bodies in there nothing else we got most of the western uh sphere under our influence with all the little islands and stuff usually belonging to england or to the english or the portuguese but not this uh, not in this world this world it belongs to the natives boys the moors so the moors are doing really good uh we have how many territories Tw 94 territories 94 provinces so almost 100 already just by colonize uh, just by simply colonizing places so that's really good. It looks like the Chiang is not doing so well. Looks like the Chiang is actually getting destroyed uh, by the Xiang Yu right here. Might be an empire that might be uh, falling apart, boys, as soon as I get it. I shouldn't have declared war with them. I kind of wanted them to survive, but uh, I don't think they're going to survive if I'm not controlling them. There is... Hold on. There is some colonizing over here, it looks like, or there's something going on. Okay, no, it's just the... Um, the actual indians the natives of uh, american natives are actually starting to not be tribal nations anymore they're actually starting to colonize around them yeah they're becoming uh the salish are now a monarchy same thing for the Ura, the uron the uron are actually a monarchy as well yeah so they're mostly everybody's kind of becoming monarchies which means they're not just going to move around places uh tribals are not really a thing anymore so they're starting to colonize so we might see some wars happening in um, in the America soon enough, boys. We're starting to see an actual territory, actual regions develop properly for the Americans. So uh, so that's interesting. But on our side, though, if we take a look at the leaderboard, 
we are already at fifth position already the fifth biggest empire in the world um, right on par with the Aztec right there so you can see the Aztec is the very first empire we took and we didn't do a whole lot with them when you think about it we took only this they had a little bit more they lost some for some reason in Mexico but still I mean we we did a lot with them and the Roman Empire is still a little bit strong it's 65 uh, regions though it is getting destroyed I, I wonder when it's actually gonna like die or whatever I, I wonder I really don't know uh, Gascony is still kind of strong still the second biggest empire 133 um, regions and stuff 153 for the Chang and stuff like that the picks are right there so you can see it's uh, going very well for everybody right here uh, everybody's doing fantastic right now I am gonna do this right here so it looks like 75% might be where we gotta go for now alright so that's pretty much it boys so I'm gonna leave it for right now you can see there's like uh, rebel things happening right here holy shit they've got a massive rebellion on their hand I think or not even I think they're just I think the Chiang just ended up declaring war they declared war on these guys of course but they ended up declaring war on these uh, these guys and these guys as well that's not a good move that's a bit too much for you buddy all right well whatever you do you all right so remember to leave a like and subscribe to the interview i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy